On Monday, April 15, the Bliss Center for the Performing Arts opened its doors to the children of Belize and organizations representing them. The event was the launch of the book My Body is Precious by the Special Envoy for Women and Children in collaboration with the Ministry of Human Development and UNICEF. An arm injury could not keep the U.S. Ambassador to Belize away, and representatives of the OAS, UNICEF, Lifeline Foundation, National Commission for Department of Human Services, National Committee for Families and Children, in addition to representatives of several NGOs, were in attendance. The Special Envoy made specific mention of the parents present and addressed them in this manner. Even though this book will be given to the children, it is much for you as it is for them. In fact, it was written with you in mind. Some aspects of parenting are harder than others. For many of us, talking to our children about sexual abuse happens to be one of the things that we often have a hard time doing. Even though this might be true for you, it is still tremendously important that you open the lines of communication with your child. This book was created to help you to become more comfortable with information about sexual abuse and for you to read it along with your child and then talk to your child about the things you need them to know and understand about this issue. Minister of Education Patrick Farber in the keynote address spoke about the reasons he was happy to be at the launch. Firstly, we get to combine uh, this launch, things that are important to the Ministry of Education and in fact to the wider government and people of Belize. We get to launch this book that of course ensures that children understand how important it is to protect their bodies, but we also get a chance to share a piece of literature, a very important piece of literature with them and then to encourage them to read, which is also a very, very big issue that the Ministry of Education, Youth and Sports champions in this country. The National Institute of Culture and History then went on to bring the book to life, showing how art and culture can be used to deliver powerful messages in ways that are quite accessible. Well, I'm so glad you guys told me about this stuff. Now I know it's never okay to let anyone touch you in any way that makes you feel very uncomfortable. I learned a lot from Lisa, Didi, and Alex today. I hope you all did too. Let me see everyone who learned something important today clap their hands. This book will be distributed countrywide to primary school students from infant 2 to standard 2. After this happens, institutions such as libraries, community centers, and clinics will receive it free of cost. For Belma Pan Weekly, I'm DK Rasta. Miss Adam.